Hello guys. So one of you asked me a question if uh, if one of my uh, uh, inventions or whatever for a generator would take the Garrison regulator if I feed it through the tube uh, through this tube here which uh, I actually am showing on all the other generators not on this one but this one I got the hole through the through the filter box and feeding the uh, the gas natural gas through the filter box into the carburetor so he actually gave me idea to install the Garretson regulator in front of it and uh, see if it's running I didn't know at the time but right now uh, okay this is the setup and I'll show you what's gonna happen pretty much uh, this goes in front of the filter that means uh, closer closer to the uh, carburetor okay let me actually put this down okay and this is a generic uh, 7.8 horsepower engine so it's a pretty small generator and uh, you see the gas natural gas I'm feeling right now is going to go in front of the filter that means closer to the engine or closer to the carburetor so actually the filter is uh, the inlet is behind the filter Okay, I realized that I have to adjust the Garretson regulator, actually unscrew the screw almost all the way out, the second locking nut is out and this is just pretty much flush, flush right here. So. Uh, Turn on the gas, it's not easy to start like this. Little choke. Uh, smaller engines what I find out is that actually the, the uh, horsepower is actually uh, much better on a natural gas than on a big engines okay uh, but anyway the disadvantage of this setup here is that the Garrison regulator have to be almost uh, the regulating 
bolt have to be almost unscrewed to start the generator. Once you get it started, you can screw it back in, as I did before a little bit because I was just afraid it's going to come out completely. You can screw it out all the way, well not all the way, but you can screw it in and then, then lock it with the, with the screw. Uh, the problem with this is that, uh, if, remember, the natural gas have about 2 psi. The uh, propane has uh, more than that. It's about two and a half, maybe 2.7 psi. So, so once you unscrew this kind of almost out like that, it's actually starting to leak gas through on the natural gas. And the propane is gonna leak even more. So it's not exactly safe. Okay, um, so I would not recommend it, but it's running. Um, actually, what, what I will try right now is I got this piece of foam, and I'm going to try to block the inlet of the, of the air. This is the filter again, and the air is coming through these openings and through here, through these openings here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut a piece of foam that will, that will fit exactly here, and that will give it a little more, um, a little more suction out of the regulator. We'll see what's going to happen. I think that might probably work. It's going to be a little tricky, but we'll see. I'm just going to do a really rough job right now. Maybe better knife. So this is roughly the triangle that I need. is through. Well, that's too much. Around a little bit. Now again, this is really, really rough uh, application here. Just to get a little more suction out of the actual gas. So, let's see what's going to happen. It will probably work better, but you never know. With these things... Come on.
Try it again, and let's see what's going to happen. I'm going to leave the screw in a little more right now, since we're going to have more suction, hopefully. with uh, this kind of application you're gonna lose more horsepower of the engine because you actually block in the air inlet and replacing it with the gas which is not exactly uh, what, is, what this is built for um, the best thing would be to redraw the carburetor again and bring this straight into the carburetor that's like uh, pretty much uh, that's even better than the donut, uh, the conversion kit. Uh, but uh, but it works. It's uh, you know right now, right now it's uh, it's uh, in a good um, good mixture. So it should I should be able to actually start it with pull roll. It needs a little bit rich actually for the start. <laughs> yeah, for the first start you need a little, a little more richer mix, mixture. So, you know, just open this a little more. And you should should be able to run it fairly 
fairly easy now. This is, this is actually good, uh, good depth of the screw right now. I'm gonna probably right here. I just want to get it back to the position I had it. This is from other generator that is ready for propane. Make sure it was a little bit deeper. So let's see if that's gonna work. But it shouldn't make much difference. Yeah, that's that's probably good right there. So let's get it another sure to start it. Little choke. Not enough choke. A little more choke. <laughs> so, there you got it. You know, all it's about is just the proper mixture of the natural gas and uh, the air inlet into the engine and it will run and these engines actually these uh, bricks and straighten they are very I would say not very but fairly easy to convert but remember you will always lose some power okay good luck hit me back